Hi, hola, welcome to Off The Dime. So today we're gonna be doing uh, things a little bit different. I wanna do a video where I teach you guys how to apply foundation because when I start my videos, I already have my foundation on. So I wanna give you guys a tiny little lesson and you know, get like basically build things up little by little since I noticed that um, my videos are just like all the same. So I want to switch things up a little bit just to keep things going. So I already um, put um, the primer on my face because you should always wear primer before you apply makeup. It just makes the makeup look perfect on your skin. It's like setting up the canvas to, you know, create the painting. So today we're going to be doing the most simplest look. As you can see, I did some eyeliner. Um, because we're gonna do things a little bit backwards. So I did my eyes, now I just gotta do my face. And um, basically I just used the Better Than Sex uh, liner, and then I used the uh, NARS mascara, the Climax, which is one of my favorites now. Um, and then under my eyebrows, I did a little bit of Becca highlighter. And um, what else did I do? I feel like I did something else. Oh, I did my eyebrows. I did the uh, Maybelline uh, brow sculpt line. Uh, brow sculpt. Brow fast sculpt. I couldn't say that. This one. Um, they sell it in basically drugstores. It's one of my favorites. So the foundation we're going to be using today is a new one that I've, I haven't tried before. I tried it a little bit on my skin to make sure that I got the right tone. But this is like a serum foundation. It's from Unique and it's very liquidy and I've never done anything super liquidy. I've only done, you know, my Il Maquillage, which was okay, but it, it was a little bit on the thicker side. This one's like really, really thin. So I'm really excited to use it and I'm going to have my um, cream brush with me uh, to help me distribute it around my face because it's very liquidy. <laughs> so as you saw, I was shaking it because it's on the liquidy side and it's like this. So basically you just oh, put a little drop and then what I'm going to do is is that I'm going to spread it out like that because a little bit goes a long way but you can apply more and this is in the color khaki and I'm using my sponge to apply but you see oh and another tip I wanted to give is always wash your face before you apply makeup it helps your face be um, more prepared for the makeup that you're gonna put on it and as you can see i have a lot of blemishes my skin is going through it so you know you just got to be patient with yourself and whatever you don't understand ask a healthcare provider which is going to be my next step since i've been trying and going over this on my own and it's not getting better so i'm going to ask my doctor what i can do to make my skin uh, better because I already take care of it as best I can. I wash my face and all of that good stuff. But as you can see, I'm pressing it in and not rubbing it in because it helps the foundation sit uh, more flush and better on your skin and it looks more natural. Because um, when you rub things in, you can cause friction and cakiness and you don't want that. You want to look as natural as possible even when you're wearing makeup. At least that's my goal. <laughs> so you just press it in like that. Um, this foundation is not on the, you know, full coverage side. So that's why I keep applying more. And I apply it little by little because like I mentioned, is very liquidy and I don't want to make a mess. But I feel like it's covering very, very good. And as you can see, I only stay around like my cheekbone area because under my eyes, I apply concealer. Yeah. 
and you can apply this foundation with a brush. Um, I will make another video of me applying it with just a brush, but I wanted to try it first with my sponge because that is my um, favorite way to apply my foundation. So there you go. And now let's find my concealer. Um, concealer went so we're gonna use my mini tart one that I have it's so little and then with your sponge you go back in and you dab it in the same way easy it gets rid of any imperfections and dark circles that you may have. All right, but that was the um, serum foundation by Unique. And like I said, it's the color khaki. Um, I absolutely love it. As you can see, it's very lightweight and it's not on the like too dewy side. Um, now let's do some contouring. We're using the NYX Wonder Stick. And a little bit on the bottom of your lip to um, cause that pouty look. And I'm doing it with the back of my sponge. In the same way, I just press it on and not rub it in. And now we'll do some highlighting. We'll do some highlighting on my cheekbones with my Becca instead of the creamy stuff. Are. So we'll use the Becca one and use my highlighter brush. now we'll do some blush we'll do the Kylie we're going shopping and with an edge blush brush just gently and I want to do a little bit just because I want to keep the look as natural as possible so I legit dabbed in and that was it Now for lips, I want to just do lip gloss because this is supposed to be like a simple everyday look. I just wanted to focus more on doing the foundation. I hope that the way I was explaining it, it was easy. And this lip gloss is also by Unique. It's in the color Legit. And it has like a cool gold tone to it. So today I used Unique Lip Gloss Color Legit, I used the Touch Glorious Mattifying Primer, and I used the Serum Foundation in the color Khaki. Legitness. Um, and then for highlighting and contouring, I did the NYX Wonder Stick in the color Medium. Um, to highlight, I used Becca on my cheekbones. On my eyes, I used NARS Climax and then the uh, Better Than Sex liner. And then under my eyes, I used my little tiny tart because I couldn't find my regular concealer. But um, to finalize the video as usual, I have a quote for you guys. Um, 
and it says each morning we are born again what we do today is what matters most and this is by buddha so thank you so much for tuning in i do apologize for skipping uh last week i was a little bit under the weather and i'm finally feeling better that's why i decided to do a simple video of just teaching you guys how to apply foundation if this video was very helpful please give me a thumbs up or leave some comments below that way i know i'm doing a good job um and please give me ideas i want to continue to do this and continue to uh keep you guys engaged so thank you so much for tuning in and have a wonderful day.